Welcome, Jim, to Metalarium Pages. It's a great pleasure to talk with you about Morbid Sane, this new, <clears throat> this new album, Swallowed by Hell, and more things related to the metal world in general. So we can start, well, uh, I can start with a common question. So why the band delay almost 10 years to release this new album? Um, well, <clears throat> the in 2010, when, when Jay reformed the band, um, it was him, and he did have Pat, original singer, for a little while, but it was all other musicians. Um, I, I was not in the band, so they were kind of just doing a lot of shows. Um, they did write some stuff, I believe, um, but I was not, I was out of the band for 25 years almost myself. Um, and then when that, that band, the, the version that Jay had at the time in about right around 2020, um, split up, everybody went their own ways, and Jay was able to, um, situation change for me. I had, uh, I'd been, I had owned my own business that entire time. So that's why I was unable to, to, to get back in the band. So, um, I'd no longer, I, I'd sold my business and Pat was living in another state. He had moved back. So the timing was just right. Um, Jay contacted us and we were available, wanted to do it. And we were able to get, uh, his longtime bass player and drummer um bob zabel on bass and dj bogomil on drums and uh we got together to start jamming and then after about six seven months we started writing this album it took us about a year and a half to two years to write and and record this album um it just everything kind of fell in place for us to do it hmm. okay Inter interesting to know well no, the next question i think is another common one because the band starts in 1984 your first album, I remember the Spectres of Death. It was it, it is a great album. I have I have here a, a re reissue version here. So but then you 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 completely disappeared in 1994. Then you decide to appear in 2010. So what did you decide to come back in, in this era? Um in the two in 2010. Correct. Um, like I said, I wasn't involved in the band at that time. Uh Jay. Jay had gotten it. Jay was always playing guitar, whether he was playing in another band, um, you know, some cover band or whatever. He was doing jamming with people. And I, I think it was just uh, timing for him. He felt the timing was right. Um, there was some, uh, you know, the spectrum of death started getting a, a following online. And um, I think he, he figured, you know, people want to see the band. They want to hear it live. So uh he reformed it and, and he had asked me to 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 help him you know you know to to be a part of that but i just wasn't wasn't able to so i th i think it was just the fact that there was there was a um there he felt that there was enough interest in the band um to start playing again live okay okay so nine nine years of difference with the second album destruction of system is a long time nine years is nine years but uh, I didn't know I, I didn't know that something that it changed. But in certain way, this album maintained all the original sound that the band captured in the nineteen ninety one, no, in nineteen ninety, in nineteen ninety. So that's a great thing to know. So, but that's my perception of the album. For that, so for and for you, which are the big the biggest difference that exists in this album compared to the previous one, the destruction system. Uh, are you saying destruction uh, compared to Spectrum? Right. No, it's from with this new one, Swallowed by Hell. This new album, um, I, I I think a a big part of the 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 the, the, the little bit of difference, I guess, that is there is the fact that our the drummer we have now, um, DJ, is his ability allowed us to to really push us and and the music as as almost as fast as we we can go um and and we really wanted to write something fast like set like uh spectrum uh destruction we had slowed down a little bit gotten a little more groovy kind of era there and and that was really a lot to do with uh our drummer lee at the time um he was getting into a lot of you know slower heavier groovy stuff um and and we were you know to a point um but this album, we really felt we wanted to get back to just, you know, going all out like we did on Spectrum. Mm -hmm. Okay. Other detail that I saw in with the when well, in the career of her or, or Morbid Sane is about the cover art. 
when I when I saw the spectrum of death, I I remember said that these cover are more more modern or more actual and more, more more interesting, you know. When but when you decide to bring these two new albums, Destruction System, and also Swallowed by Hell, and these two albums has more classic cover art than the first one. So what do you decide in these both cover arts to get back to the old ways and not continue to the ways for the first album, the cover art, because the first cover art is more, I don't know, it's more, it's more shock, shocking, this cover, the first album, the cover art. The first one, yeah. Um, well, the first one, you know, when we first had that, it, we weren't, we kind of were, it, things were different back then, and we kind of had a, uh, um, by the label, the person they sent um, basically showed up with, you know, a, a, like three or four, I think it was, different uh, pieces that he had done. And the, the Spectrum cover was the one we had picked. You know, we didn't really have a choice in it that much. Um, and we thought right away that it looked like Eddie from Iron Maiden, you know, and and, and we didn't like that fact. And, and we got a lot of a lot of crap for that early on with the, you know that was always the big thing with our album um now if people love it and it is what it is and 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 we're happy with it um with the new album uh destruction um we that was the album art for that one is is similar i guess more more clo more closely related to swallowed um but that one we we did want something that we we actually had a say in it and that's 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 just the direction we went with it but with the new one, um, we really wanted to because of the, for for nostalgic reasons, I guess we really wanted Ed Repka to do the artwork for the cover, and we gave him the basic direction ideas we had, and um, what you see on it now is what he had he came up with, with and and we're very happy with it, um, and, and we're very honored to have his artwork on our album, uh, because we grew up listening to albums that he did so many of them, he did artwork for so many albums back in the day. Um, so we really, you know, when we found out we could get him to do our artwork, it was, it was great. Um, but we wanted a, we wanted a, 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 another link to the past, I guess, you know, with the, with Ed Repka and, um, that style artwork. Mm -hmm. Okay. All the detail about this, I, I'm, I'm not sure about this new album because when I, when I, well, when we publish also in Metal Aid News is that this is Wallet right here was released by High Roller Records. Uh, but then I then I didn't I don't know if I understood wrong, but I I saw that this new album perhaps is independently or is continue to work with higher roller records because uh, I never see a uh, like the like the publicity from high roller records that that this album is presented by them. Um, what what we did with um with high rollers we started working with high rollers through Century Media when we were with them. Um, and then when we went, we we went away with from Century Media, um, High Rollers still wanted to be able to to license the old stuff, Spectrum and and Destruction, and we were fine. We 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 like High Rollers, you know, they're great to work with. And then when they found out there was a a chance, I guess, to to get the new album, um, they were more than happy to, you know, they they were excited about working with us with the new album. Um, but we didn't want to. We're, we're signed with High Roller Records, but what we're signed with them for is a, a distribution deal only. So they didn't, they're, we're not signed to them in the sense that you're, you know, they stay would sign us. Um, but they've been, they've been, uh, they have, uh, they've been pushing the album. Um, their PR team is working with us, getting interviews. Um, I, I, I'm we're we're more than happy with with the the work that that they've done to help us push this album. Um, but we are not technically signed in the sense. Um, we still retain the rights to our music. Um, and and that's that's one thing that we lost for a long time with Century Media. You know, once you sign a people all want to, they all want to sign a record contract, but they don't understand you know the ramifications of of what happens to you and and people dictate kind of what you do. Um, we we wanted to just keep con full control of everything, so it we're kind of in between, like you said. It, it's independently released with support from High Rollers. Ah, oh, okay, ah, oh, that's interesting to know because I, I never see a, like a publicity for this new album released by Hall High Roller Records. Just a, a, a little announcement and then completely disappears. So um, that's the motive. Okay, yep. okay. 
Let's talk about one well, about for the first album, the Spectrum of Death. A Spectrum of Death for almost all people that I hear at that time. I hear them one year later that I release in my country. So I really remember this album is more 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 organic at that time because that's that's the way of the nineties was. So I saw that this album released with by the Me Mexican label Avanzada Metallica. That's interesting. No, and then and then the band and then this album have a lot of releases by Century Media, High Roller, Relapse Records, etc., etc. A lot of reissues. So, what's your opinion about um, about this kind of business that the labels are doing now? Because some people trying to say that this is, is to attach to the past, but the new people want don't want to listen to new music for any case because they they want to just reissue the first album, this kind of stuff. Do you think that this is kind of reissue is more business than a taste? Absolutely, I think so. I, you know, there's 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 the motives behind reissuing this album um, by by so many different labels. Obviously, it was uh, they they felt there was uh, there was a market for it, and they they can make money off of it. Um, for us, we always welcomed the reissues just because you know we weren't doing anything. So you know if they if 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 they felt that that they could make money off of it and and to a to a point I think it it helped um, you know get reach more people by them distributing it and you know it, it was limited very limited with Avanzada um, so the amount of original pressings with Avanzada are are it's it's pretty limited I'm not sure it's 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 a small quantity um, so by them re-releasing it. You know, reissuing this and that, it, 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 I think it, it helped to, to keep the name alive and, and reach a lot more people than it would have. And, and, and that kind of goes to the same, the, the album's been bootlegged a lot. Um, there's a lot of bootlegs out there, you know, and we've never, we've never felt really bad about that because, um, I, again, you know, they're putting it out. They're going to, they're, all they're doing in our minds was, was helping us in the fact that they're, you know, getting the album in the hands of more people than, um, would have if they wouldn't have bootlegged it or you know put it out there so mm -hmm. okay okay well um, the the album was one the album was released at the beginning of february so now we have uh now we have a, a little couple of weeks a little couple of weeks that this album was released so until now how was the reception of this new album uh so far it's been been great uh, it, it's it's you know you're 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 gonna get you know, we we knew going into recording this album that we're always going to be compared to Spectrum of Death because that's the album everybody knows us by. Um, so we knew that was going to happen, but we, you know, we we are who we are. We play the way we play. We write the music that we write. Uh, we don't we don't specifically try to write a certain way. This is just what we do. So so this album is this is Morbid Saint. Now this is pretty much us. So um, it's been doing good though. It's been getting good reviews. Um, uh, our you know our website we sell merch we sell the albums um it's been going good uh i i can't complain i you know i'm here doing an interview with you because we released a new album so <laughs> <you know. laughs> yeah that's a good news now talking about from the promotion of this new album for you uh, what what kind of plans do you have morbid saint has for this swallowed by hell perhaps you will embark on tours in u.s a little geeks on Euro, Latin, Latin America, Mexico. Who knows? What kind of plans do you have for this swallowed by hell? Um, we're, we're, you know, we've never been a touring band, and and we're not really with because we're all older. We all have, you know, we all work jobs. We're not, you know, just musicians who live off this. You know, Morbid Saint has never paid our bills, so you know, it, we're very limited as far as time off from work and things like that to to go play shows. So we're gonna do. We're gonna do the our 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 main goal is to try to get on as many uh, like one off festivals, you know, or we can come down to Mexico for a a weekend festival, fly in, play and fly out, um, that kind of stuff. So that that's we want to play and get out and play the new stuff and the old stuff um, as much as we possibly can. So so we're hoping and we're starting to get those the the you know opportunities. We got some shows coming up already lined up for this year. Um, so that that's our main goal is to get out and play, play the album and the old stuff as much as we, our our lives allow us to. 
Mm. Okay, okay. Oh, what to tell about? Um, I, 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 uh, cor correct me if I'm wrong, because in some, some, some day I remember in the past that I that I saw that you that you played a uh, spectrum on that in full. I remember on a flyer that say that Morbid Saint playing a spectrum of that in full. And these kind of things are happening around the world with a lot of bands, DSI, in Doom. Hey, yep. well, a lot of bands are playing full. No, the 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 most the most interesting album for them exceeded all the people. So, what's your point of view about uh, about this kind of the, this kind of things that they give the fans that the fans want? <laughs> right, right. Um, they the band. Um, it was when I was not playing with the band. Um, I can't remember exactly what year. It might have been fifteen ish, sixteen. I think they played at Maryland Death Fest. And they, I know for that show, they might have did it in other ones, but I know for that show, they played the entire album. Um, you know, I, 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 I think it's fine, you know, especially if you have, in our case, you really have um, one album that is, you know, that's the album that really people know Morbid Saint for. Um, so it only kind of makes sense, I guess, that if we're going to play a show, let's play the album that has made, you know, made our name what it is. So I, I, I'm, I'm fine with it. I think it's, I think it's a, it's a, it's cool for, for bands to, to give, especially with younger people nowadays, you know, who weren't around at that time and be able to see the band play those albums live, you know, when they were on tour or whatever. I, I think it's, I think it's cool for bands to be doing it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And well, you mentioned one thing, and I think this is a common one also. What do you think about this idea of Morbid Saint is well known for the first album and the and the, the next two albums, The Swallow the Dead and the, the, the second one, are not well known like the previous the first one around the world? Um well, I'm I'm hoping that the new album especially, uh I'm I'm hoping that that you know keeps our, our fans of Spectrum happy. Um and I hope it, it it brings us some new fans, you know. Um, so, um, I I I'm looking forward to playing the new album. I, I love playing the old stuff, obviously. And we're gonna do that when we do play. We'll play, but we'll play songs probably from all the albums. Um, but you know, we when we go out and play now, we won't exclusively play just the new album. We will, you know, we'll be playing all of them. So, um, hopefully someday this album will. will be a, a favorite like at Spectrum, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. All the detail, no, no, as I mentioned in the first question, talking about other kind of things, and we are very close to in this interview also, Jim. And well, remember when the metal appears in the in the in the sixties, seventies, and I, I I remember when I when I saw interviews with Iron Maiden or Bruce Dickinson, talking about the number of the bees, they 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 just create this song for peace, peace of people, the peace of. The someone, the government, peace, everyone. At that time, at that time works because the lyrics is against something at that time. Seventies. I remember I am from the eighties, so I remember that the trash appears in the eighties. The trash against the society, against the against the hard rockers, against a lot of things. That's normal because I, I also I spoke with Tom and Tom told me that is the trash as a product of their of their time with against something, against the politics, against economics, against society. Then the death metal appeared with or with horror themes. The black metal appeared against to, against to Christianity. Always the metal strikes to something, or especially against to the rules. But these things happen until 90s. Then the 2000s appear, 2010s, and now the metals were more accepted. As you can see, uh, uh, at the 90s, at a black metal, a black metal band against the crescendo. Whoa, that's amazing! May happens with the mayhem, the people dead, etc., etc. But now the Satanism is a religion. So that's a curious insult. It isn't really, it's not against something. There's like a community, <laughs> it's like the community for the Christianity, Buddhism, this kind of, it's the same. It's the same, another an, another religion in the world. So not, not now, if you fight with a something, yeah. some people understand that you are fighting for something. And now you are you create a trend in, t in whatever social media that they put, that now the metal lose this kind of essence to fight against something. Because no, 
Everything now is will we accept. If you create a different kind, you will follow with a thousand people with a different kind of things and you are right, etc. etc. So for you, now the metal, perhaps now the metal lose the essence uh, to fight against something, or we're still there to fight against something. Yeah. I, I mean, I guess I can't talk for anybody else. Um, I, I, I guess you're kind of saying like, as far as what songs are about and, and that. Yeah. No, talking uh, about, it's talking about, especially about the lyrics. Remember that the, we are, we're against, against something. But now if you are against something uh, uh, behind you, there's more 300 people following you, your way of thinking. So it's not against something anymore. Right. Right. Well, we're, we're, I, I mean, our, I, 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 our songs are are kind of written about a lot of different things, um, but but some of our some of the songs on the new album are, are 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 they talk a lot about what's going on in the world, you know, over the last five years, I guess you could say three three five years. Um, but we don't do it in uh, a, a, a like in your face way, I guess. You know, we it's it's there. The lyrical content is there. Um, but it's, 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 you can interpret it different ways, I guess, you know, um, and, and unfortunately, like, I guess kind of what you're saying nowadays, it, you know, for us, it wouldn't be smart to, to, uh, uh, really, uh, present our, uh, let's just say political views or religious views straight up. Like, like you could back in the eighties, like you said, back then you could pretty much whatever it was, it, that's what it was. Um, nowadays, we're we're even leery of doing that just because, you know, people will cancel us or or whatever they do now, you know. Um, so it, we still lyrically wise have something to say. We just don't come out and say it, if that makes sense. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, Jim, the sad time was arrived at this interview. I hope you enjoyed this one like me. Uh, well, great album, by the way, from this wall on my head. This congratulations on it. And Thank perhaps you, you want to add something to your Latin American fans and obviously more Metalian followers. Um, like I said, we're we're hoping everybody you know enjoys the album. You know, it's it's, it's it it was the only reason we made this album was because of the following spectrum has gained over the years. Um, or why we got you know felt that we would be accepted to make another album. And I hope we didn't disappoint. And I, I hope we get to see you all get to see us play live at some point here. We're hoping to we're hoping to be any anywhere anywhere they want to bring us. We're we're gonna come. So hopefully, and hopefully, like I said, hopefully people like the album and don't feel feel disappointed. So, and we and we and we appreciate all you know everything that you know. Like I said, the fact that we're even. Uh, people care that we're even writing an album. You know, we we appreciate this opportunity, and and we appreciate all, all the fans that we do have. You know, it may not be that many, but but the ones we have, we we greatly appreciate everything. <laughs>